There's something going on in Australia that is related to the adoption of technology. It's really important that, that there is this kind of dialogue or, or debate. I think Paws Fest is, is really at the forefront of that debate here in Australia. Australia was lucky, and it's strange to say this, because it was lacking in technology. So by the moment you are starting to adopt in a technology, you're basically developing the latest one because they're coming late, and that's a good thing. I think Australia, being kind of younger, has the freedom or, or uh, the opportunity now to, to still be actively creating that. It's much more of a dynamic scene. This is where the main conference behind me happens, but all around we have a lot of satellite events. We had Creative Day, we had Tech Day, we had Business Day. So these uh, satellite events are very much take more of a workshop approach, just about trading those insights to take back to your everyday work. These new generational events are interactive, so there's more possibility to really meet people, to change idea. You create an ecosystem that can actually create the platform for innovation to happen. Events like this are really important to make people sit back and think about what tomorrow's world is going to look like. We're talking about the future possibilities of virtual reality and augmented reality, the role of mobile technologies and wearables. Technology is about creativity and I think that what's really unique about PazFest is the diversity of knowledge that they bring to the table. I feel like it's really important to just kind of put myself for three days in a space like this where I just let these ideas wash over me. I think this is the best combination possible. I loved PostFest, the amazing you know, atmosphere. You can feel that something is happening here.